Let's jump into our weekly MVP. Uh, why don't you lead it off this week? All right, Texas, Nate Lau, 10 for 26 with 385 average, six runs, five singles, a triple, four home runs, and 11 RBIs for the Rangers, uh, only striking out three times against one walk. He came over from the Rays last year. He's a good ball player. If you, yep. have to be, if you watch him a lot, which I did when he was with the Rays, uh, he's he's a solid, a solid baseball player. I was surprised the Rays let him go last year. So you just bashed him. Oh, sorry, no offense, Rangers. And then, oh, player of the week. Hey, Rangers. So is this what he does? He puts you down, he picks you back up. So I'm just saying, the <laughs> The Rays should not have let him go. Agreed. But apparently it doesn't matter because the Rays are winning. That's what they do. That's what they do. That's mine. Uh, mine was Carlos Correa, a guy that neither of us really like, and we've bashed on him a couple of weeks, and he heard he's a big fan of the show. Uh, 11 for 26, two runs, eight singles, a double, a triple, a homer, a partridge in a pear tree, five RBIs, two <laughs> walks. He batted 423, so pretty good week. Yeah, and Minnesota needs him. If they want to make a push on Cleveland, they need Correa to maybe validate his probably one year there and push yes. them into the playoffs. Yep, I mean, uh, they're four and six at the time of the recording, but they're on a three-game win streak. So uh, Minnesota is trying to reel in Cleveland. I said White Sox are going to catch them. Hope they do because I had a future bet that they would win the AL Central. They're two games under 500 and still only six out of the wild card. Only five games back of Cleveland. Let's have ourselves a month, White Sox. <laughs> All right. Worst players of the week. I'm going to go with Francisco Lindor. I'm going to the Mets. Uh, yeah. The Mets, as good as they are, his past week, one for 21.048 for an average. One RBI, one stolen base, five walks, six Ks. No, I mean, that's a slump. I yep. get it. One for 21 for your star shortstop. Well, you I mean, look at the, what have the Mets done the last 10? Uh, you know, six and four, going to New York. Yeah, he's supposed to be your all-star. Mm -hmm. he, he has not been all like, you know, your, your premier player that they thought they were getting. Yep. He's been pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I, I, take I, him. I, I Yeah. I mean, I'll take him on, on a slow pitch softball. Oh, uh, wow. All right. All right. So <laughs> we're going to move on fast. because let's let's bash the Yankees because we don't get a chance to do that. DJ, Lemieux, Lemayhu, however you say it. Apparently, I'm not great at the well, names are tough sometimes. Well, you, Lemayhu, you have you got, had it. It. you got it. I had it. Two for nine. He's got a tough last name, but he makes up for the first name. DJ. Uh, two for 19, one run, two singles, three Ks, hit 105. And uh, he was he was hot. So were the Yankees, but the Yankees not so hot. Five and five again. Two game losing streak at the time of the recording. And um, that's a good pick because the Yankees... We always say Yankees go as Judge goes. Judge goes as LeMahieu and Stanton go. True. I mean, he, LeMahieu's got two batting titles on him. He's a good, good hitter, good ball player. Yep. Um, if he's hot, they have to pitch to Judge. Did you see how Maris's son said it would be, they'd be okay with it? And it'd be cool if Judge was uh, to break the sixty-one mark. He's Maris's son. He's got to be a good guy. He's got to be. Right? Roger Maris was a fantastic human being. Do you think he will? Because let's give you our home run leader updates. Aaron Judge is at forty-nine. Had himself a nice little week. Schwarber thirty-five. Paul Goldschmidt tearing it up thirty-three. Alvarez. 31, Riley 31, Pete Alonso 31, and Mookie Bet 31. So, I mean, Judge is what, 12 away? Yeah. I mean, it's getting close. Is he going to do it? I don't think so. I'm going to no. I'm gonna stay with no. I, I forgot my prediction at this point. Uh, because of why? Why do I think? Why, he, do you, why, why no? I just think that uh, it gets a little bit closer, and they're going to be in situations where they need the hit, they need the run, potentially the walk. Uh, I mean, you're going to play more meaningful games that I think he needs to kind of, and he will put this team aside and say, hey, I'm not going to go for this record. I right. want us to yeah. Yeah, Judge, Judge definitely wants the wins. He wants the wins more, and I think they're going to be in a situation because, I mean, what are they at now? They're At the time of the recording, 128 games have been played, uh, so they got 34 games to hit 12 home runs. That's a tall task. So, can, I mean, can be done, yeah. but I kind of agree with you. I, I think uh, meaningful games, uh, they're going to face some really good pitching. Yep. Not that he can't hit really good pitching, but I really, it kind of like we were just talking about LeMahieu. I don't know if the Yankees lineup can protect him enough. It's true. If he does hit him, they're going to be solo shots, which they, for, the, for that first half, they a lot of them were, and then that first two weeks uh, after the All-Star game, you went crazy. Well, first two, three weeks of July, he went crazy and his RBIs kicked up. But they did, yeah. Um, um, so, so cool. is that a yes or a no for you? You think? I, I'm going to say you said no. I will say. Sixty-one, he ties it. Oh, wouldn't that be wild? Sixty-one, he ties it. Although I want him to get sixty because Roger Maris is my hero. I want him to get like I'm cool with him just staying at forty-nine for the rest of the year. But either way, Aaron Judge, you're big. Fifty-seven and a half. Yeah, that's what that's all we have for you. We're gonna come back next week with our power rankings, weekly MVP, worst player of the week, and whatever news that we find absolutely amazing for you. Hope you have a good rest of the week. Go Pirates. Go Jays. I'm Matt. I'm Logan. Go check your attic. Yeah. Find some baseball cards. Go find some baseball cards. We'll be back next week.